Portsmouth Football Club. We're delighted to have you here. How does it feel having made the move to the South Coast? Thank you. Yeah, no, it's great to be here. Obviously, it's, it's been about for uh, a couple of weeks now and we've had to keep it sort of quiet, but I'm, I'm buzzing to get over the line and finally get here. How difficult was it to sort of keep it quiet in and amongst your family and friends? How excited are you to, to be here? Yeah, I'm buzzing, obviously. It's, it's obviously what I wanted to do since I was young. So to keep that quiet was, was tough, but thankfully um, I can start to tell my mates and, and my family now. What are you expecting from this challenge? Just I want to learn as much as possible and I want to push on and, and progress and try and be better every day and I'm just really looking forward to it. I suppose one of your biggest challenges is going to be moving countries and, and moving by yourself. How do you feel about that? Yeah, obviously it's going to be tough. I'm a, I'm a family person. Uh, I enjoy spending time with my family, so it's going to be tough moving away from them. But they're only a plane journey across and half an hour or so, so it's, it's not the worst. So they can come over any time they want. How did this move come about and how long has it been going on for? Uh, it came about a couple of weeks ago. It was obviously, I'd got my move to Glen Torn and I sort of hit the ground running and, and done really well, probably done better than I expected to do and impressed and done well towards the end of the season playing, I think I played the last like 30 games in a row for them. So obviously I, I impressed here and they like what they've seen and I'm just happy that I'm here and I can push on there. So as you said, you're arriving from Glen Torrin. Just talk us through your last campaign there. It was a Definitely a season full of ups and downs. I learned so much from it. We started off the season really, really well. We went uh, 14 games unbeaten at the start of the season. And then we, had, we got hit with a load of injuries with our main players and went through a really tough spell where we didn't, we didn't win in two games in, or two wins in 10 games, I think it was. So, and then towards the end of the season, we, we got a new manager change and, and then we hit the ground running again and finished the season strongly and got European football. So I'm glad I could leave on a high and with get securing European football for them. So after what was such a sort of successful season for you personally, what do you feel you can bring into this season at Portsmouth? Look, I'm, I'll always give my all. I'll give 100% every time I step foot onto the pitch and try to win every game and I just want to learn as much as possible and, and learn off the, the great players that are here and the manager that's here and, and everyone about the club and, and hopefully I can push on in my own game. Now let's talk about those players that are here already. In our central midfield unit we've got Tom Lowry, we've got Marlon Pack who's made over 500 uh, EFL appearances, we've got Joe Morrell who's a, who's a Welsh international. What sort of things do you think you're going to be able to learn off of those players? Everything really, just how they go about their their day to day life, like how they apply themselves to the game, what they do, everything they do, how they how they treat training, and how they how they prepare for matches, and and hopefully I can I can learn so much off them and, and make myself better. So there's three of the lads. How excited are you to meet those and the rest of the group as well? Yeah, look, I can't wait to get started. I'll, I'll have to I'll have to get settled in and, and get to know the lads. But hopefully I can we can hit the ground running and, and get going this season. Something that's really going to help you settle in will be that pre-season trip to Spain. How much are you looking forward to that and how much do you think that will help you sort of bed into, into the group of players? Yeah, that'll be, that'll be brilliant. So, well, I've, I've never had a, a pre-season training camp abroad, so I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll be with the lads every day for a week, so it'll be, it'll be a great start to the season. What have your chats with head coach John Messino been like? Yeah, they've been good. He's, re he's looking forward to getting me on board and he, he's really happy to get me on board. And... I think with him being a, a centre midfielder in his career too, it's, it's massive for me as well that I'll just have to listen to everything he says and, and just take it all on board and try and learn as much as I can. So we've spoken about other central midfielders at Portsmouth and their attributes. Let's talk about you as a central midfielder and your best attributes. Just describe them to us. Um, I'm an energetic mid midfielder who I like to get the ball back and get the ball to our creative players in the final third. and. And I just I like working hard and then adding goals as well. I love chipping in my goals, so hopefully I can do that this season. So we mentioned Joe Morrell, who's a, who's a Welsh international. You're also an international at under 21 level for Northern Ireland. How have you found it? Yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's again, it's a different type of experience. It's it's massive. It's 
playing against top players from different nations. Played against the likes of France, Camel Venga played for them, had to play against him and that was that was an amazing experience. And then the likes of Spain. So it's just it's amazing playing against the, the top top players at your age from different countries. What does it mean to you personally to get this move to Portsmouth? Oh, it means everything. Um, I've worked hard for it the last couple of years, you know. I, I maybe had when I was younger I had a few rejections, but I kept my head and I just kept working hard. And thankfully, it's come now, and I've I've got my opportunity, and I have to take it. Just finally, looking ahead to the 2023-24 season, what are your personal aims and ambitions, and also your aspirations for the team as well? Well, obviously, personally, I wanna I wanna play. I'm not I'm not here to make up the numbers. You know, I I wanna play, and I'll do my best in training every day to to make sure I'm playing, and I'll push the other lads on as well, and hopefully get a few goals. And as a team, the main aim is promotion, like isn't it? So that has to be in in, in our minds come the first day of the season.